Hello all of you beautiful people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com and I want to talk to you today about magic. Now the reason I'm so keen on this is because movie magic or special effects are just something that I find so interesting. It's why John Carpenter's The Thing is one of my favourite films and say it with me kids, uh, you know I don't have time for this, come on Jules, focus. And I absolutely love it when an effect is so good, so utterly spellbinding that people simply don't believe it. They don't believe what they're seeing, they believe it to be computer generated and not at all a physical trick that might have been played right in front of their eyes. And that my friends, is true movie magic. So I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are nine movie special effects nobody believed. Number nine, The Hobbits, The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. Before Peter Jackson decided to take all the goodwill that he built up with the epic retelling of The Lord of the Rings and just CGI the hell out of The Hobbit, even causing Sir Ian McKellen to reportedly break down on set, he was wowing audiences with an incredibly painstaking approach to shooting scenes between characters of different size. Now, you might look at scenes like this between Gandalf and The Hobbits and think that they just use CGI to shrink down Elijah Wood and company to the required four-foot height, but you'd be wrong, as instead Jackson implemented a dizzying number of practical techniques and a huge emphasis on forced perspective in order to achieve this. This isn't too challenging for static, locked-off camera shots, but Jackson dared to employ this tactic with a moving camera, and this is where things get really insane. Jackson's crew used a motion control camera rig, which was linked to another motion control rig designed to move the actors and props around in perfect sync with the camera movements, ensuring that the illusion would never be shattered. This is mind-blowing, and honestly, people didn't believe it was real, citing that it would just be easier to shoot on green screen and slap together in post. It might have been, but that's not the point now, is it? Number 8. TARS Interstellar Interstellar's sarcastic robot Tars was one of the weirder but more memorable characters in a film absolutely full of them, yet many just assumed that the construction was just fully CGI. Well, as Nolan proved by tackling this subject material, he's not one to do things by half measures because Tars was a fully physical creation. The manoeuvrable on-set prop weighed 200 pounds and was manipulated by actor Bill Irwin. Irwin also voiced Tars and even recorded all of his dialogue for the film while controlling the robot. Irwin was obviously painted out digitally in post-production, but the TARS unit itself could be puppeteered to perform roughly 80% of its actions throughout the film. Now, people didn't expect this because, I mean, come on, it looks so complex, right? In fact, a lot of the film's press tour was taken up explaining to different outlets about the prop as media professionals refused to believe them. Number 7. The Mirror Trick – Terminator 2 Judgment Day this amazing scene, only added back in for the film's special edition re-release, is one that on the surface looks fairly simple, showcasing Arnie having his chip removed by Linda Hamilton. It's quite graphic, but many would assume that even though CGI was still in its infancy at the time, that the camera was just digitally removed from the mirror and it was Arnie's reflection that was faked. Well, it turns out that the real shot was much, much more complicated. Did you see that woman in the mirror? That's not Linda Hamilton, that's her twin sister, and Linda is instead operating on a prop head of Arnie's with synchronized moves. And Arnie's reflection, that's actually Arnie. It's brilliant, and an example of so much effort being put into a film to make it feel real. Audiences couldn't believe this to be true until James Cameron explained the shot in great detail on the film's DVD commentary. Number 6. The Car Chase Tracking Shot – The Raid 2 in a film that's absolutely chock full of amazing fight sequences, it's almost easy to overlook an utterly outstanding car chase scene in The Raid 2, which features a quite breathtaking camera path which moves out of one car, passes into another and out the other side, all in one unbroken take. Now You might have just thought to yourself that it's just separate scenes that have been stitched together with CGI, but the real story is so much more crazy, as it was all physically done by cameramen passing the equipment between them with one of the operators themselves disguised as one of the car seats. It seems so over the top that audiences simply couldn't understand how it had been done, but director Gareth Evans was understandably proud of this moment and shared all in interviews after the film's release. No invisible cuts, just pseudo-invisible camera operators. Number 5. Jack Nicholson's Sliced Nose – Chinatown Roman Polanski's film noir classic Chinatown isn't really a film that you think of for mind-blowing special effects, but it does contain one that's gone down in history as being an ingenious use of violence. 
When Jack Nicholson has his nostrils sliced by a gangster played by Polanski himself, it is a shocking moment. In fact, it was so shocking that people thought it was completely real and have argued for years that the director wanted to get the most out of the moment and actually just cut his star. The reality of the situation is that the knife had a tricked edge, which depressed when pressure was applied to it, and had a button in the handle that squirted fake blood. With expert timing and control, the motion was so smooth that you'd think it was real. However, the really interesting part was that, in order to keep Nicholson on edge, Polanski flipped the knife over again and again between takes so it was never clear to him which side was real and which was fake. Oof. Number 4. Artificial Gravity 2001 A Space Odyssey Stanley Kubrick's sci-fi masterpiece is jam-packed with shots and sequences which still cause Jaws to drop to this very day, and there is no better example of this than Dr. Poole's jogging sequence in the Discovery Centrifuge. After watching it, is it any surprise there are people still posting on message boards asking how this effect was accomplished? Well, it turns out that the set was built on a massive hamster wheel of sorts, with a fixed camera making it look like Poole's was running around the ring. It cost around $750,000 and weighed around 27 tons. However, the best thing here was that because Kubrick was so infamously cagey about the film's production techniques, he kept the secret to himself, and as such, the mystery of this scene grew and grew, along with appreciation for what he eventually showed to audiences. Number 3. The Winklevoss Twins – The Social Network the Social Network is a fantastic and darkly gripping tale, and aside from containing one of the most exciting boat race sequences I've seen in, well, ever, it also had a brilliant moment of CGI that was so convincing that people thought that Army Hammer had a twin. You see, Hammer was cast in the roles of both Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss by David Fincher, and if there's one thing that you can say about Fincher, it's that when this man has an out there idea, he's going to work bloody hard to make it happen. How this was achieved was through using a stand-in actor and then having Army Hammer reenact the scene again and then having his face digitally added to the other body in post. It was a painstaking and, for some directors, way too painful to create effect, but Fincher not only managed to pull this off successfully, but even had people falling over themselves when they went to IMDb, only to see that both roles were played by one man. Number 2. Pretty much the entire movie, The Fountain Imagine being Darren Aronofsky and finding out that Warner Brothers are cutting your budget from $70 million to $35 million. I know, it's still a ton of money, but for the surreal romantic fantasy The Fountain, the days did look a bit numbered. So, in order to get around this, he hired Peter Parks, a specialist in macro photography, who brewed chemicals and bacteria together for the film's effects team to shoot in extreme close-up. The resulting kaleidoscopic images formed the basis for The Fountain's depiction of the central nebula. And because Parks used simple materials such as yeast, dyes, solvents, baby oil, and even curry powder, he ended up costing the production just $140,000. In fact, the film's VFX company worked with a mere 87 shots, namely combining the macro photography with the on-set shooting and also providing set extensions. Everyone thought this was CGI, everyone thought that millions had been spent on each shot, but the truth was just some relatively bargain basement mind-blowing techniques. And number 1. BB-8 – Star Wars The Force Awakens To make this instantly lovable droid BB-8 a tactile and freestanding entity in the Star Wars universe, J.J. Abrams relied on a number of mostly practical special effects solutions. The movement of BB-8's football-like body was achieved by wheels within the inside of the unit, which were counterbalanced by weights to ensure smooth movement, while a gyroscope maintained a continuous sense of direction. In order to keep his head from sliding off, magnets were used in tandem with a centrifuge to maintain a constant position. When quizzed on why he went practical over computer-generated, J.J. Abrams put it best himself by stating, There were lots of discussions about how having CG BB-8 would be so much easier. However, they went with models instead, eight in total, and the result is something at once beyond our reasoning and at the same time immediately real. Plus, seeing it on red carpets everywhere was absolutely bloody adorable. And there we go, those were 10 movie special effects that were real, but nobody believed that they were. Let me know what you thought about down in the comment section below. But before you go, my friends, let's talk about the special effect that we can all apply to ourselves, and that is being kind to yourself, both physically and mentally. Treating yourself as best as you possibly can, that is incredibly important. Because you know what? You, my friend, you deserve love, happiness, success. You do deserve all of these things. And if you're struggling with that, then that's okay as well. Some people do struggle just getting by in day to day 
day. But you know what you can do? You can speak to people, friends, family, professionals in the support industry. Trust me, people care a lot more than you might think right now. And if you want to chat about this or anything else, then you can go follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter. I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.